This might be something really, really quick. This is an informative video because a lot of people do ask me which caps do I prefer to make a wig with or what do I use to make my wig. So I use like a different type of cap um, on maybe several wigs. Like, So it's not always the same cap that I use when I'm making a wig. I do switch it up very frequently. So I do have some that I'm going to show you guys real quick. But first of all, I use a mannequin block or wig block making head so these are what I use I do have about two others two two others I have a total of three and they range in head circumference so this is a 22 inch um, so that way it fits like an average head size and then I do have smaller ones these are pretty heavy um, I do like to sew with them basically sitting down and I'll just have this portion of it like just between my legs so that way I can just kind of grip it this is the long neck one um, which makes it a lot better for me there is a shorter neck one which is a little bit shorter um, I do prefer the long neck ones only because of the way that I'm making them you know I'm sitting on the couch and I'm just grasping it with my legs so that's why I use I also use like either T pins or these you know pins from Walmart that are really good too you have to make sure not to get the ones that are too cheap because they will fall apart like the heads of them will definitely come off trust me I've already been there um also I do use just curved needles um I probably thread about I do thread about 18 of them at a time so that way I don't have to keep threading them as I sew 18 is probably more than enough I think I go through probably like 14 13 all depends on how many tracks I'm sewing in or how close I'm sewing it but for the most part once I've threaded all of them I don't have to go back and forth and thread anymore that is the part that comes to be like really annoying when you have to keep going back and threading I cannot take that so I did buy like a lot of curved needles I do prefer the longer curved needles because they're just more comfortable when you get used to something it's just a lot more comfortable so I do have shorter ones but I prefer the really long ones because they're just much more comfortable so the wig caps that I use like I said they vary it could be one thing it just depends on how I feel um, so this one right here is the spandex dome cap these are $1.99 at your local beauty supply store and this is by the brand dream world this is just for sewing weaves, wigs, you parts, superior quality. I do like these, especially for lace fronts because they are they do fit a lot more snug. Um, so that's the one thing that I do like about these a lot. It's like a silky type of texture. The band is big, okay. And the cap is just a regular kind of like silk texture dome cap. It's not see-through, but it is really good for like sewing lace frontals. And even if you want to sew a closure wig, it's good too. But I think like when you're sewing the closure wig on this particular one, it's kind of, it just fits. So if you have like a lot of hair, then I wouldn't suggest this particular brand because it's like a just fitting cap. And sometimes just with the closure, it can be pretty tight. You know what I'm saying? Like you just fit in. But I do like the overall durability of it, especially because the band is so wide so this is like one of my go-to's also I'll use this brand right here which is the cute fit collection this one is blonde it's just for platinum hair just imagine that it's black now this one is also a spandex dome style wig cap this is a you know a little bit different it stretches a little bit differently um, to me they also do make the mesh ones which is a little bit lighter in material and unfortunately I didn't have any more of those but I like to get those as well lately I've been using when I do get the mesh ones because I've noticed that in size they have changed they've gotten a little bit smaller so I do use the extra larges when I am making like a closure wig I will use this particular brand it will be the mesh extra large okay I like the mesh ones because it's a lot more breathable um it's hard to find the blonde ones like that but um this brand is really good these run a little bit more at the beauty supply store the material and concept is all still the same um like I said I'll use them in black and I'll also use the ones that say mesh and you'll notice it says mesh right here at the bottom it'll say spandex mesh dome style wig cap those are the best ones. Those are my favorite. They make life a lot easier when it comes to sewing your wig, okay, or making a wig. 
Also, if I want to make a U part or if I want to make just a, a regular wig with a closure or a lace frontal, I'll also use this one here, which is also by Dream World. And this is the deluxe multi use weaving cap, one size fits all. I have been using these to start with. These were my very first ones that I've ever used for closures and also for U parts and lace frontal. So these are what I started off with. There are so many different brands, but you have to be careful because with different brands, the netting is totally different, meaning cheap, rips, all that stuff. So I like Dream World. I got them from eBay, I believe, and also from the beauty supply store. So with Dream World, as you guys can see right here, what's that? This is the cap part. This is where you would sew like your closure or your frontal or whatever. And then in the back area, there's the adjustable straps. There aren't any hooks, but that's okay. Now, also on the side, there's ear tabs, but it's breathable. Like, look, it's see-through. I like them because of the ear tab, but they're also very flexible and it's less weight on your head. But here's the thing. I have gotten like a lot of wigs like were made like by other people that sent me them to remake for them and I've noticed or I've also got a braided wig that was made on one of these these are not supposed to be on the outside like because the seams are on the outside you know what I'm saying like the inside does not mean that these are supposed to be on the outside and I think people take that into like you know what I mean I'm gonna put it on the actual mannequin so you guys can see what I'm talking about so when it's sewn of course it does look like this is the outside because the seams are on the inside the little white tag right here is on the inside you know what I mean so people would think okay well I'm gonna sew the hair up here but then you have to think about it when you get a wig in the mail you buy a wig is your adjustable straps on the outside no they're on the inside so you have to turn it inside out you have to turn this inside out and you have to sew on the seams so that way when you're putting on your wig and you want to make it fit properly you have the adjustable straps right there okay nobody is seeing all of this if you feel self-conscious you can cut away a little bit of the excess like material i do that sometimes don't get carried away but this is the actual outside this is where you would sew the hair at the adjustable straps have to be on the inside of the nape these are really good i like these they're breathable this is one brand that's really sturdy there's another brand that's also very sturdy i have yet to find it i've had it once and then couldn't find it again. also i will purchase these from time to time on amazon now you can get these from aliexpress they do um they are a little bit pricier aliexpress will will charge per ship and per wig cap but i just bought three of them on amazon and a four of them and that was just fine for me so these are these wig caps right here and these are the ones that have the adjustable straps and the hooks right here on them and it does have like the silk base on the sides and then on the sides it has the mesh tab so these are a little bit better than the deluxe ones okay now as far as being meaning it's better they have hooks on the straps of the nape so that's a plus okay no big deal i'm not really like too concerned about it this portion right here is material which is great not not worried about it too much but it does make sewing a little bit easier for those and then right here you have a little bit more space so it would probably definitely fit a closure but you know either way you're going to cut away at this no big deal these are great i do like these a lot so i get them from like amazon and you can also get them from aliexpress and then there's these ones right here which are also another one that i've tried out um in the front of these you have like a kind of like velvet or felt material same concept except for there's no fabric in the middle it's all kind of like mesh fishnet type of fabric but either way it also has the adjustable straps in the nape so that way you will be able to rehook your wig but you guys those are the wig caps that i use i hope you guys found this informative on that note i gotta go gotta do another wig video i love you all stay deep and deep delicious make sure you rate comment and subscribe share this video with all your social media friends and family even the ones that you don't like and i'll see you guys on a soon to come video I'm not believing